today we're going to discuss and deconstruct the Sargeist style, Finnish style um, guitar playing technique where you have a tremolo picked pedal note on the bass and a moving melody. So for example, let's talk about Satanic Black Devotion. I'll play the riff. So I'm playing in D standard here, and a constant throughout these types of riffs is a drone note, uh, a drone pedal note in the bass. So here we've got the open D string. So we've got those four notes in the bass. We've got an open D. Uh, open D, then the ninth fret on D, then eighth fret on D, then seventh fret on D. That's how you get that descending sound with the moving melody. And on top of that is this. Is the first part of the melody. So on the G string, seven, nine, ten. Then on the B, on the tenth fret, then back onto the G string. Because the way you really want to play it is with your index finger on the 7th fret, ninth fret, 3rd finger on G. Then use a little finger and rolling along on the 10th fret. There, this is where the, um, the stylistic origin of this kind of riff kicked in, which is where you've got that bass note and a moving melody. So there, I'm keeping my third finger on the ninth fret of D, playing the first finger on the first fret of G, then moving this melody on the G string. So it's the seventh fret, ninth fret with my little finger on G, tenth, done on the tenth fret of G as well. And the G string follows the same notes, but you flatten the note on the D string. So you're on the eighth fret with the middle finger. You've got this little ending there. So it finishes from ninth to the seventh fret on G. Then you bar the seventh fret with your first finger on um, D and G. Seventh fret. And you play this major dyad there with your middle finger on the seventh fret of D and your index finger on the um, sixth fret. Of G. So that's deconstructing one of the riffs. And of course, Sargeist and Horner share the same, well, they've got the same guitar player. They, um, obviously, the, the riff style is similar. Uh, there's this one Horner song that I can't remember the name of, and it goes like this. So we're taking the same technique here by having this droning A, A string, with the, well anyway, playing the octave here on the 7th fret on D. You've got this melody here. And there I'm just moving the bass note to the 8th fret on A. Then the melody moves from the 9th fret to the 10th fret on D, while still keeping your middle finger depressed. And here, uh, on the second time round, you change from, instead of a major dyad, you change to the minor dyad. So 8th fret on A, 6th fret on D. You've got the melody moving to the G string, 8th and 9th fret. Now, how 
do you do this yourself? And it's very, very simple. Um, if we take Sargeist as the main example for this, um, they've got very similar sounding riffs. And one, t the, the main core technique, of course, is having your bass note and the melody, but a shortcut is to just use a minor scale. So for example, I'm, I'm going to make up Sargai style riffing on the spot in the same kind of tempo. Something like that. Now, all I'm using are the notes of the natural minor scale. And of course, you can mess around with the with different scales, but to, for simplicity's sake, and to get a more accurate sound, let's use just use the natural minor scale at this moment. So the highlighted frets um, on each string. From, um, so on low E, the notes you want to use are on the 7th, 8th, 10th, 12th. And you can use this for your bass notes as well as the open E. And then for your melody notes, you want to stick to the A and D string. And the frets you want to target are 7, 9, 10, 12 on both A and D. So if you just have the E as a drone, the low E here, and you just move around using those um, targeted melody notes. So you're still already beginning to sound quite similar now. All it needs is some trouble picking. And now we're going to add some bass notes. So let's add an open E, then the 8th fret on low E. So if we just take something simple like this little melody here. So on the A string, I'm playing 9, 7, 10, 7. That's how it would sound. Now, let me... Um, Play with the low E as the bass note, then changing it to the 8th fret. Now if we take that same melody and then change the bass note to this, the 7th fret here on low E. And of course, you can just change it up a little bit. And then I can do the same thing by having the bass note be the tenth fret of low E. But you don't want to keep the same melody. The, the whole, the one of the charming things about Sargai's thrift is the, is the way the melody moves. Quite like using the D string, like personally, when when I'm um, playing riffs similar to this. Um... You could add like little tiny melodies using like, the um, aforementioned targeted notes on the D string. Stuff like that. But to get the more sargeisty sound, you want to stick to these um, 
to these lower notes, and again, you can change them on different keys. You can change it to A, play this, um, well, we'll stick to the same targeted frets. And you can do the same similar ideas. and match what you want to do from there. So that's just a quick and very simple introduction and, and lesson to the Sagai style riff with the um, drone notes or pedal notes with the moving melodies alongside that.